Good news everyone, it appears someone has figured it out. This panel suggests a solution for global warming. By sending giant boxes of seawater into space to freeze and then return to earth. I gotta admit this is creative thinking but still, it doesn't work. First of all, seawater is not just extra water we could throw away. It's important for earth's heat distribution and countless marine ecosystems. Next, space is not simply a freezer, it's a vacuum meaning there is no air or medium for heat to transfer through except radiation. In other words, any water facing the sun would experience intense heat, while water in shadow would quickly freeze. But not exactly. In a vacuum, water does something called triple point behavior. It can boil and freeze at the same time due to the lack of atmospheric pressure. Now, let's talk logistics. The energy needed to launch water to space is mind-boggling. A single SpaceX Falcon 9 launch costs around 62 million dollars and can only carry about 22,000 kilograms to low earth orbit, meaning we would need millions of launches to make even a tiny impact on ocean levels. And here's the irony. Most rockets use kerosene based fuels that release massive amounts of carbon dioxide. We would end up adding more greenhouse gases while trying to get rid of them. If we had extremely efficient technology, this would have been a temporary fix for hot temperature or rising sea levels, but seeing the state of technology we are in this has absolutely no merit to it. Erupting volcanoes release some special particles that can reflect sunlight from the atmosphere. Some researchers think we should replicate this effect to reduce global warming. They call it stratospheric aerosol injection. Only problem is, no one knows what the result would be like. Would it work the way we want it to? Or would it accidentally trigger an ice age?